Bonjour, in this episode, we retouch a portrait and we increase the depth of field of a photo. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, and welcome to episode 94 of my photography, Lightroom and Photoshop tips. My name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer living in Paris. Last week, I showed you some little introduction on light painting. It is an amazing technique. Check it out if you like this type of effect. This week, I'm going to take a photo that Kelvin, a friend of mine in LA, shot last week. And he, sh he showed me some retouching that he did in Lightroom that I found very interesting. And I wanted to share these little tips and tricks on how to make the depths of field a bit bigger uh, and get more of the attention on the subject. I think you will learn a couple of nice tricks. I find myself using more and more Lightroom and less and less Photoshop. So I think it's uh, interesting. It's an interesting evolution. So here it is, my little tips and tricks on retouching portraits. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Just before we get started, if you want to get the raw file of the training we're going to be doing right now, you can subscribe to my newsletter to get it. Uh, for here, you just have to go to news, subscribe, sign up, and uh, you put your name and email. And in exchange, you will get a confidential link. And that is the result of that link. You have all my episodes and you can for free Download all the raw files and some of them are, you know, from the Mont Saint-Michel, Paris, from the United States, from all over the world. You're talking 70 raw files for free. All you have to do is subscribe to my newsletter so I can spam the hell out of you. I'm just kidding. I'll send you two newsletters a week with all my free stuff and some of my paid stuff. Of course, we need to pay the bill. Just to, talking about paying the bill, I still have 40% off on all my websites. And if you go to my training package... My, uh, you can still get 40% off my Lightroom preset, which is over 250 presets, which is already discounted. It's $87, but if you add 40% on top of that, it's around like $50 for 250 Lightroom presets. Most of them, they are made for Lightroom 5. If you put them into Lightroom 4, only about 80% will work. Um, but you can give it a try. It's still 200 presets that will work. Okay, so let's get started with this week's tutorial. So this week's tutorial is some tips and tricks on retouching portraits. Um, this is a photo that was taken in LA uh, by my buddy Kelvin of a friend of him. And um, he retouched it in a funny way and I liked it and I wanted to share it with you how he retouched it. The first thing that Kelvin did is, well, crop the photo to, uh, so that we are more on the subject here. Uh, this gentleman, which I don't know, his name is Chris apparently. All right, and uh, then he warmed it up a little bit just to make it a bit warmer. He rolled it up like this and like this. Uh, just give it to give it a sort of a look, you know. Just warming it up. And then he did my trick of 100, uh, plus 100 on the shadows to completely open the shadows. Highlights minus 100, giving it a little HDR look. And then he did the whites. So pressing out on the whites, he went around, yeah, 22 on the whites. And on the blacks, I'm pressing the Alt key to see uh, on the blacks, he went really dark, like he really, like around 43. The darks, it, what the darks are going to do is the blacks is going to, I'm sorry, what the blacks is going to do is just take everything which is already dark and make it darker. Then he added some heavy clarity, like around 40. And then he took out the vibrance uh, of the photo, like uh, some of the colors and added some saturation just to give it a look, you know, give it like a warm, uh, contrasted, desaturated look. But uh, the main trick that he did that I really liked is that he took a brush and um, he put the feather at 100, the flow 100, density at 100. And what he did uh, was um, getting clarity at minus 100 and sharpness at minus 100. Okay, clarity and sharpness. So it's going to blur the photo. And what he, so what he did is first very brief stroke far from, uh, from him, like around here a little bit. But it's mostly for the background. Okay. Now, as you get close to him, okay, not on the hairs. It's not good on the hairs. So I'm going to press the Alt key. I remind you, if you press the Alt key, you erase things. Maybe here a little, I'm going to erase here. I think he, he didn't do so much here. Actually, it was really more on the background. And as he got closer to the person, so he was at like minus 100 on clarity, minus 100 on sharpness. He also took out some saturation. Uh, and made it a bit darker 
something like that. And as he got closer to the person, he got the flow and the density to come down a little bit. And then actually probably a bit more flow and density and just, yeah, erase and just the whole idea is to blur the background so that the person sends out, you know, like a swallow depths of field, you know, and uh, he shot this with a very old lens from about 20 years ago. That is one of these lens that I bought. And uh, so the depth of field is pretty big. Okay. Something like that. That's the idea. And, you know, and I never had this idea of doing minus clarity and minus sharpness at the same time. And I think it gives like a pretty good result of, you know, the whole idea is to get the person to stand. You know, we want the person to, to come uh, uh, and be there. So, okay, I'm going to alt take that out here and maybe a little bit out there. Okay, and then you can just go over the mask and see how it is. It should be all around him. Yeah, that's pretty cool. A bit maybe on this hairs I can take out here. Okay. And if you want to increase this, you can try is just duplicate uh, the brush. And well, if you think it's, and this one, if you think it's too much, you can just lower the clarity and sharpness just to add even more, add even more to it. You can duplicate it. Now I can see it's too much here on the, on the glass. Okay, I'm going to erase this one, actually, because I didn't see that coming. I'm setting back this one, the first one. But just make sure that before you duplicate it, you have it exactly like you want. And I'm going to re-add here. It takes a bit of work, you know, but you don't have to be so precise, you know. Uh, but that's the idea. It, it can just help, you know, bringing out the subject. Okay. And then, yeah, on his face, there is too much, so I'm going to... Minus. So I'm pressing the Alt key for to make to to erase things. You know, okay. On the ears also. I I don't want it so much on the face. I'm just gonna erase there. Okay. I can check with the layer mask to see if, if I'm good. I think there is still too much here. Um. You know what? I'm just gonna click on Show Mask Overlay so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna, you know, I'm erasing with the Alt key. I don't want any blur actually on on the portrait itself. I think I did too much here on the ears, a bit too much on 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 the ears and on the airs. Sorry, my English sometimes is is missing of vocabulary. But that's you know that's being French. You know what can I say? I am Francais. Okay, so uh, yeah, on click show selected mask over there. So we ha it's pretty good. So if you want to increase it even more, you can just duplicate it. Oops, and now it's really increased a lot and you can just lower the second one if you think it's too much. But yeah, the whole idea is, uh, is uh, yeah, now it's too much because here on those glasses, it just, yeah, there is still some left on the glasses. It's not supposed to be blurry here. So let me press the Alt key, select again, the first brush. It's really like, a you know, it takes a bit of time, but okay, that's the idea. I don't think I'm gonna double this one. But he did another thing, he created a new brush and he uh, this time pressed, um, we're going to press Alt and Reset and have a low exposure. You see there, he, uh, you can see my buddy uh, taking Chris here in the glasses. So uh, what he did is darken the glasses so that uh, there is l we don't see the photographer in the, he, I think he even added contrast and just, yeah, just made it darker here. Oops, sorry, I'm pressing Alt. Okay, maybe not on top. It could be cool to make it shiny here on top. But so we just have like less, you know, attention on the uh, on the photographer. That's kind of cool. Okay, before the brush stroke, after the brush stroke. So he's standing out. And um, new, he also made his teeth a bit whiter by, uh, uh, if I remember well, hiding some highlights on the teeth. Okay, you can zoom in on the teeth and uh, just add some highlights and some exposure and maybe take some saturation off just to make the teeth a bit, you know, whiter. Okay. And um, that's that's not about it. And the last thing that he did to really make him stand out even more is to add some really strong vignetting so that... Uh, you know, we really are onto the, the person itself. So that's something like that. So check it out. That's the final result. And that's the before photo. I mean, it's, uh, let, 
is it fully reset yeah it's reset that's the before photo and that's the the final result yeah, it's more pleasing you know there's more attention on the person you know there one of the key points in photography is the message you know anything which does not contribute over the message the car the people there is taken out so now we are more onto the portraits and you know making the uh, depth of field and blurring the background also helps anyways that's some little tips and tricks i thought you might find useful in your day-to-day -day retouching portraits thank you very much and let's get back to the studio okay guys i hope you like this tutorial it's pretty fun to do. And if you can leave me a comment on any suggestions you might have for the future on any tutorials on Lightroom or shooting or whatever you want me to do, please do so. You can just also leave me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you very much for being here and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.